My name is Mercedes Lewis. I was born in Lincoln, Nebraska, um, but Dallas is home to me. My indigenous name is actually uh, Shira Amate Ajo. The meaning of this is the star who holds treasure and art is my treasure. To me, art is something can, that can bring people together. In this situation, my art brings together people to look at systematic oppression in another light. In corporate America, um, I had a coworker and he stated to me, I don't see color. And he triggered me um, because I told him I want him to see my color because it's beautiful. With my most recent art series, I don't see color series, this has given me an opportunity to share my views on systematic oppression to black people in the world. My most recognized artwork, Freedom, was featured February 2020 at Irving Art Center. That piece, Freedom, when I first created it, I actually couldn't even paint. I couldn't even bend my arms, I couldn't even draw. Um, after working corporate in America, I got carpal tunnel, which is very common. I had tennis elbow, but I had nerve damage, so um, I decided the next piece that I create that I wanted to, it to be one of my best pieces that I give my all to. So I didn't even have a canvas. I uh, found someone who was my friend Hayden. I'm gonna give him a shout out. Um, he helped me build it from scratch to art historian standards. My first time ever doing that while I had nerve damage. Um, and then from that, I started doing a lot of research about systematic oppression. And I learned that um, a certain culture in Ghana um, uses quilts as a way to tell stories about someone's death who, whenever they pass away. So they use certain colors, like in the piece Freedom, you know, blue for sadness, red for bloodshed, green for grass or wealth. So I decided, why not tell a story about the black people who are dying with a large piece on a large scale? Because to me, it's a large issue. So with that piece, um, I did research on Indinkra symbols and as well as other African cultures from Mali to uh, Nigeria and was inspired about how they use bold colors and contrast and shapes to tell a story. So in that piece, Freedom, I have symbols about unity, I have symbols about, you know, death, water, and different colors that represent these themes because that's what's happening to black people. People are dying, people don't have water, people don't have land. So to me, this piece brings up the issues of systematic oppression that have been ignored. With this piece here, it's called Destiny. And I remember at that time, I had a lot of transitions. And so I was able to work on the piece little by little. My favorite part about Destiny is this area right here. And the reason why it's my favorite part is because when I bought the paper, I didn't even know that this is actually similar to a symbol in Indinkra cloths in Ghana. And it was my first time painting paper. This piece, Destiny, I think sometimes when we're thinking about that, we're thinking of, you know, you go through good and bad to get to your destiny. There's contrast in that, but overall, it's a beautiful piece. It's a beautiful journey to get to your destiny. What inspires me as an artist, I would say, is Black history and Black ancestry because it's so vital to learn your history and your culture, because if you wanna have a legacy, that's the information you pass down. I think that learning things good and bad can trigger certain emotions that inspire me to express those emotions with the world. To me, Dr. King's unity was really about um, having a lot of black people come together to make a uh, better life for one another and I think that this art has created a better life for myself and could create better lives for other people if they were aware of things that go on in the system and how to navigate around those things to have a better life.